What's up, y'all? It's Bricks from Bricks Fitness, and I am telling you, this is probably going to be one of my most important videos that I ever made on this channel. If your goal is to have a strong, healthy, functional body, then you need to pay close attention to this video. Me learning the benefits of compound exercises was an absolute game changer for me. And this is exactly why I built my entire Transformation Jumpstart program around compound exercises. And if after this video, you feel like you still need further guidance, you can grab the program at bricksfitness.com. It's designed for people who need to lose 50 to 100 pounds and they just don't know where to start. It's for beginner-ish, like if you have a little bit of experience but you still don't really know what you're doing, this program is perfect for you. It's a lot of information, it's really helpful. I'm getting some really good feedback from people. I do a Q&A, a private Q&A for every person who purchases the program every month. All that information can be found at bracefitness.com. Anyway, let me continue this video. So understanding the benefits of compound exercises really helped me simplify things, which ultimately helped me become more consistent with the gym because I'm an overthink. I used to overthink exercise and understanding this helped me not overthink. And in all honesty, you can transform your entire body only doing the exercises that I'm gonna talk about in this video. So please pay close attention. Compound exercises involve multiple joints and they use more than one muscle group as opposed to isolation exercises, which only target one muscle at a time. For example, the most famous compound exercise, of course, is the bench press versus the most famous isolation exercise, the bicep curl. The bench press works multiple muscles, the bicep curl essentially just works one muscle, your bicep. Here are some of the benefits of using compound exercises. First and foremost, and this is a big one for most of us, they will save you time in the gym. I seldomly work out for more than an hour, an hour and 10 minutes at max, and that's including my, my cardio when I'm using compound exercises. The second benefit, you burn so many more calories because you're using more muscles. To use more muscles, it requires your body to use more energy, and a calorie is simply a unit of energy. So if you use more muscles and you use compound exercises, you will burn more calories in less time, trust me. Another benefit, it allows you to lift heavier loads. Now, when you lift heavier loads, you strengthen your body, you stimulate muscle growth, and you cause a hormonal effect in your body that just turns your body into a fat burning machine. Another benefit is you build your core strength. Most compound exercises require you to stabilize your core to generate power for the lift, which is part of the reason I was able to get abs without doing a single sit up or single crunch. So I'm gonna break down some of my favorite and I think the most effective compound movements there are. So the first one, the bench press. You primarily use your pec muscles, your triceps, your anterior delts, which is your shoulder muscles, your traps, and your back. The second exercise, the deadlift. You use your glutes, your quads, your adductor muscles, which is your inner thigh, your hamstring, your erector spinae, which is your lower back muscles, and your traps, which is essentially your upper neck muscles. The third exercise is the squat. This is one of the most important compound movements there is. It strengthens your glutes, it strengthens your lower back, it strengthens your hamstrings, your quads, your core. The squat is absolutely necessary and if you're not squatting, you're doing yourself a disservice. The fourth exercise is the leg press. The leg press hits your quads, your calves, your glutes, and your hip flexors. The fifth exercise is the bent over barbell row. It hits your lats your rhomboids, which is the middle of your back, your rear delts, your traps, and it even hits your bicep muscles. The sixth exercise is the military press. It hits all three sides of your deltoid, which is the shoulder muscles, your triceps, your biceps, and your lats. Then you got your walking lunge, which hits your glutes, your hamstrings, your hips, your quads, your calf muscles, as well as your core and your back muscles. And as a bonus, I wanna throw in there pull-ups and dips. Now I know a lot of people cannot do pull-ups and dips. I remember not being able to do them, but it would definitely be a good investment of your energy to train your body to be able to do these because they have so many benefits. Uh, if your gym offers an assisted pull-up or dip machine, please use it. 
I remember not using that machine because I just was intimidated by it. Use it. It will give you a great return on your investment of time and energy. If your gym doesn't have an assisted pull-up machine, then you can use a strong resistance band, uh, as you see right here. This kind of helps you create your own assistance system. There's a lot of different variations to these exercises, and I understand that. The first thing I would do to simplify things is to do full body workouts. If your goal is to lose weight and to just strengthen your body, I would definitely start off with full body workouts. I still do full body workouts. I think that you get the most bang for your buck. It's the simplest way to put together a workout. Remember, you'll need to pick a pushing movement, like the bench press or incline press or machine press or dumbbell press. You need to pick a pulling movement, like a barbell row or a seated cable row or pull up. You need to pick a hinging movement, like a deadlift, a kettlebell swing or a good morning. You need to have a lunge movement, like your walking lunges, a step up or a reverse lunge. And then you need to have a squat movement, like your back squat or your front squat. I know this is a lot of information. All the information in this video will be in the description below. Uh, try to keep things as simple as possible. Like I said, pick one movement from each of those categories, the push, the pull, the hinge, the lunge, the squat. I would do about one to two sets of 10 to 15 reps for each exercise. And that will give you a complete full body workout that you can do a few times a week. I hope this video was helpful to someone. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you have not bricksfitness.com. I have online coaching packages available right now. I think we have about 12 slots available. This is the most, we never really have that many. We have 12 slots available right now. Click the link in the description or go to bricksfitness.com forward slash online coaching. And as always guys, I'm just trying to share the wellness. So get well and get money.